Hi friends, it's Maddie here, back at it again with another reaction video. And today we are going to be listening to Neither One of Us by Gladys Knight and the Pips. I don't know guys, do you say it neither or neither? I feel like it may just be a regional thing, but you guys let me know in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Oh, choreograph dance. It's sad to think we're not gonna make it, and it's gotten to the point where we just can't fake it. Ooh, for some ungodly reason. We just won't let it die I guess neither one of us Wants to be the first to say goodbye Gladys is so graceful. She's so graceful. Um, I feel like 
even when she's singing this very sad song, she's doing it with such grace. And it almost even seems like she's kind of smiling, like she's trying, like even in the actual the actual performance of the song, she's in denial of this relationship. But I want to, I want to counter that with the fact that as we continue onward on this trajectory as humans on the planet, I feel like it's become something that has, it's weighing heavy on my heart, guys. So it, it's become, it's become really easy to, to stop or stop trying with someone or to to like um to just think that you could just change partners like you're changing your shoes or your t-shirt and i feel like the best partnerships are those that you can withstand even the most difficult times because it, let's be realistic there is the likelihood of you finding someone that's exactly the same as you and that will do nothing that bothers you, it, it's like, it's impossible, okay? It's impossible. And I feel like we as people are becoming more tolerant from a distance, but not tolerant enough in our personal relationships. And it's a really interesting thing, right? Because... Just just sit on that for a second. Just sit on that and let me know in the comments what you think about that. I I just feel like I just feel like like it's tough, right? Because what she's saying, like, I mean, if she's in an abusive relationship or if like there's a there's a there's something going massively wrong, or there's something happening where like it's it's literally taking the life out of her every day. I don't think that that's a good good reason to stay. But the way that she's talking about having memories with this person and then like they're kind of like, oh, well, we don't want to say goodbye. It's like, well, maybe you don't want to say say goodbye because that is actually a person. You're just going through a rough period. I think that I don't can't remember who said this, but when you're in a relationship, you're going to go through so many different versions of that person. And if that person is trying their hardest, if they're trying to do do right, and if you're trying to do right, and I feel like as long as you're on an upward trajectory together and you have the same mission and goal, then I don't know. I feel like you need to try to work it out. But obviously, that's not me saying that if something's going extremely bad, you're being abused, something's happening, you shouldn't try to work it out because I understand. Like, I understand those situations. But I feel like people throw in the towel so much quicker now. And I am curious because I feel like this was this was probably the time period when these sort of these sort of love songs about like ending and just like these ballads of of just kind of just just relationships crumbling became more prevalent. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. Let me know if I'm wrong about that because I could be completely wrong because I might just not be well versed in um, all of the all of the decades of music, but based off of what I've heard so far, it seems like this time frame is really the time frame of sad song ballads that are about love ending. And also I'm curious if we looked at the stats of relationship failures and yes, guys, we're going to say like some, some of those relationships, like people could not leave, right? People were not able to leave because they didn't have the resources to or because some war was going on. So there was no there was no like possible way the children needed to be taken care of, whatever it is, right? But I am just curious. I'm curious how much media reflects internal dialogue versus persuades internal dialogue. Anyways, guys, I... <laughs> That's all I have to say about that one. The song was beautiful. Let's let's say that. The song was beautiful. Gladys Knight is so graceful. I loved the backup dancers. I the pips. I loved their I loved their dance moves. Very graceful, very classy. And she's just so elegant. But yeah, I just, I'm just curious. And some of you guys are going to be like, you're taking this too seriously. And then some of you are going to be like, the music of your day, current current day is much, much worse. But it's like, we just have to think about it as 
as building blocks, right? Um, so, so yeah, just think about that today. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. And it's okay if I'm if you think I'm completely wrong. You just share with that. We have the right to disagree, and I think that's beautiful. Let me know what you think, guys. And if you enjoy hanging out together, if you like reliving things from the past, discovering new things, laughing together, crying together, make sure that you click the subscribe button. It costs zero dollars, and it helps the channel so, so much. We're getting closer and closer every day to 100K. Until next time, guys, I'll see ya. Bye.